gentlemen, I'd like to welcome you all here this evening. And uh, for the flag dedication for the Curly Orange Defenders. And uh, I'd like to, without further ado, welcome the Reverend Rodney McGuinness to the seat. Thank you. Good evening, folks. Please do come in. See if we have the shout and roar. I want, I want to have a voice for the weekend. I'm not going to take a bite out of you, so please do come forward. Great to be with you here this evening. Haven't too far to come. You haven't, don't know me, my church is this one down the street, so I'm very close in my own territory. So. You're very welcome, and we wish, hope you have a good night. Thank the members of the Curly Band for asking me to come along and do this. We're just going to have a short service first, 20 minutes or so, and then we'll head out on the road on parade. So as we come to our service, we we'll bow our heads in prayer. Let us pray. Our gracious God and Father, creator of all that is good, we thank you for the gift of life for the wonder of the world in which you have placed us, and for all the blessings you so freely lavished upon us, your children. Forgive us that too often we take your gifts for granted and think so little of the giver. Help us to recognize your hand in the ordinary things of life and never to be ungrateful for food and clothing, work and recreation, health and home, family and friends. So may we live from day to day in the knowledge of your love and goodness, giving thanks always for the things, for all good things, in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our reading this evening is Psalm 20. Just read the whole psalm. May the Lord answer you in the day of trouble. May the name of the God of Jacob protect you. May he send you help from the sanctuary and give you support from Zion. May he remember all your offerings and regard with favour your burnt sacrifices. May he grant you your heart's desire and fulfil all your plans. May we shout for joy over your salvation and in the name of our God set up our banners. May the Lord fulfil all your petitions. Now I know that the Lord saves his anointed he will answer from his holy heaven with the saving might of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. They collapse and fall, but we rise up and stand upright. O Lord, save the King. May he answer us when we call. Amen. And we know the Lord will add his blessing to the public reading of his holy word. <coughs> now going to present the flags to, or the standards if we want to give them the proper term to the standard bearers who's going to take them and then we dedicate them straight away. Run away.
in the name of God the Father, God the Son and God the Holy Spirit, I dedicate these flags to the glory of God and for the use of Curly Flute Band. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, on this night as we gather here in Lockbrickland, we give you thanks for all the goodness that you have given to us down through the years. We pray in particular for Curly Flute Band. It means so much to many people and the work behind the scenes bears testimony to that. We pray that as these standards are raised at each parade, there will be a thought that turned to you, who is the head of all we hold dear. May we be like a flag flying high, so that all may see the love we have for Jesus Christ. We thank you for all the bands that, which are one, wonderful ways of keeping our communities together and do a great deal for the mental well-being of all those involved, especially at this time as we emerge out of COVID-19. Father, we pray for all the bands in this area, and especially those represented here this evening, that they may do nothing that would bring discredit or dishonour to themselves. We ask your blessing on all the bands, but tonight we pray in particular for Curly Flute Band, as they take this step into the future. Be their guide and stay in the times that lie ahead. As we come now to look at your word in this brief time, May you open our hearts that we will be open to what you are saying to each of us. We ask this all in and through the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I want just to speak for a few moments on one particular verse in that psalm that I read. But I want to start by thanking the members of Curly Flute Band for asking me along this evening to dedicate the new standards that they will be carrying at the front of their band every time that they are out on parade. This is just another thing to add to my list of dedications this year. There has been quite a lot, all different, all very unique and all very important to the organisation for whom they belong. The commitment required for bands to operate is quite high. There is no point in having a band if the members do not turn up or only pick and choose if they want to go out or not. Being a former member of a band, I know too well what it is involved. But the satisfaction of going out and playing your best means so much. This evening we are here in Loch Brickland to dedicate new standards for the Curly Band. This band has been recently formed and they are now taking a step of faith in the purchase and dedication of new standards or flags as we tend to call them. As I've said, it takes a lot of commitment to keep a band going, never mind starting up a new one and especially during this pandemic. I congratulate you on reaching this point as you start to make yourselves known in this area and that others will be seeing you out and about on parade especially with your new standards. I want us to look briefly at one of those verses that I read earlier this evening from Psalm the 20th Psalms that of Psalm or verse 5. May we shout for joy over your salvation and in the name of our God set up our banners May the Lord fulfill all your petitions. This verse is actually divided into three sections, so let us spend a short time on each. Firstly, may we shout for joy over your salvation. Notice the words, your salvation. The salvation offered for souls comes from God, and it is his, certainly not our own. God wants each of us to be saved and has provided the way for that to happen, namely his son, Jesus Christ, dying on that cruel cross and taking the punishment for all the sin that we have committed. We couldn't even possibly repay the debt that is owed by ourselves if we were depending on our own strength. But there's another thing. 
we are not to keep quiet about it. We are told to shout for joy. We are to make plenty of noise about the fact that we are saved, that God has given us his salvation. Now, bands tend to make plenty of noise. But I wonder, is all the music they play really suitable for the calling of salvation from God? I let you think about that one. Secondly, we are called to, in the name of our God, to set up our banners. That is what we're doing tonight. The standards presented are dedicated to the glory of God. That is something that I want you to be constantly aware of. The standards are there as a mark of who you are. When people see them, they will recognize you and you will be known by them. They are to be treated with respect and not be thrown in a heap on the ground. Flags and banners fly high so that everyone will be able to see them. I wonder, can that be said of you as individuals? Can you be said, or can that be said of the bands? And that cannot be said of the Protestant community. Are people able to see from you the love that Jesus Christ has for everyone? When on parade flags cannot be hidden. You know as people who profess the reformed faith, are we prepared to fly high for Jesus Christ and not be afraid to proclaim him as Lord over our lives? And then finally, we are told, may the Lord fulfill your petitions. We are not told that the Lord will answer all our prayers. God is still in control, no matter what people say this day. This day and age, they seem to think that we can come and go with our requests and desires. But I want you to bear in mind that you would not go and ask a total stranger for help. But yet, people seem to have no worries about asking God when things are difficult. We need to have that relationship with Christ. And when we do, we can come to God through Jesus who is the only mediator between God and man. So I urge you all, if you have not already done so before, you even think about praying in whatever form, check if you are right with God. Do you know him? If not, I urge you, even this very night, to make things right. Seek God's forgiveness and ask Jesus to come into your lives then the banner or the flag belonging to God will be able to fly fully from the castle of your own heart. Amen. Let us pray. Loving God, on this night, when we come to support and encourage the members of Curly Flute Band in the dedication of their new standards, we thank you for the commitment and determination shown by the members in setting up and starting this band in what was difficult times. We are thankful that we are coming slowly out of all the restrictions due to COVID and for the benefit of being part of, the ba of a band that has on our mental health. We pray for Her Majesty the Queen at what is a very difficult time for her. And we pray for all those in authority over us, should that be from Westminster, Stormont or local government. May the decisions that they make be based on your word, the scriptures, and when they deviate away, halt their plans so that they may realize that they are going in the wrong way and that they will turn back to you to seek your will in what is good for the people of this land. In this year, when we celebrate 100 years of Northern Ireland, may we be ever mindful of what this province has come through in, the, in times past. The setting up of a new government in 1921, World War II, the time known as the Troubles and many other events. Our God in heaven, we thank you for all that is good about this wee place of Northern Ireland. We especially have seen it in action over this past year and a half. 
as we, as well as the world, have been dealing with the pandemic, which has caused so much heartache and pain to many different people. We thank you for the generosity of everyone who went out of their way to help others. We continue to pray for those in need around the world, the people of Afghanistan, those affected by floods and hurricanes. May we ever be aware of the benefits we have and also be aware of the need for those who are in any kind of need. Give us the wisdom so that we can deal with whatever situation and give us the vision to help those in need. May you guide us and bless us and may we return to a country that is, has a reverent fear for you, not frightened to approach you but seeking your face in love. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We finish by saying the benediction. Go forth into the world in peace. Be of good courage. Hold fast to that which is good. Render to no one evil for evil. Strengthen the faint-hearted. Support the weak. Help the afflicted. Honour everyone. Love and serve the Lord, rejoicing in the power of the Holy Spirit and the blessing of God Almighty. The Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you this day. And until Jesus comes or calls, and then forevermore. Amen. I'm not going to talk too long, just a minute or two. I want to congratulate Curly Orange Defenders on getting these new flags and indeed the whole band for getting on the road. And I'm sure you are all keen, keen to get on the road. So on behalf of the Brooklyn District LOL number 10, I am delighted to see this band in our village and I hope you can bring the band back here to the village many times. And I congratulate you again and wish you all the best. Thank you. Somehow or other it's come down to me to give the photo of thanks since Gordy wouldn't do it. <laughs> Dan Hayden. Uh, on behalf of the band, I would like to first of all thank uh, the Reverend Rodney McGuinness. Uh, he done a great dedication of flags. Uh, I know it's an extremely busy time for you. I think you have a couple of weddings this week or last week and this week maybe. So mm -hmm. for him to come out and do it on a Tuesday night, we really do appreciate it. Uh, we thank uh, the Brickland District, Rodney and the whole team, the men are cooking wet the burgers there for the use of the premises and the hall tonight. Uh, I'd like to thank all the bands that are here coming along and supporting us again on a Tuesday night. Not the best ideal night for it. I uh, thank all the marshals and was going to help us around the parade. And I was going to say the PSNI, we don't think there's very many of them out there, so we'll do it ourselves. But if I have forgot anybody, please accept the apology on behalf of the band. And without further ado, would Adara get ready and rock there, please? <laughs>